So as always, starting off in a Blender Precision Ready file, if you have no idea what that is, it's in the cards or down in the description. To create a bolt, it's really easy. There is two ways, a free way and a paid way. My way is the paid way, but trust me, there's a reason for that. So we're gonna go over to Edit, then Preferences, in Add-ons, make sure you have Bolt Factory enabled. That is the free add-on that comes with Blender. I have precision bolts, which is amazing, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But we'll go Shift A, and here in Mesh, you can go down to Bolt, click there, and that will bring up a bolt. This is a slightly different one. I've already tweaked it. Let's create the pitch to be even crazier like this. Brilliant. I want a nut for this, so I have to now move this out the way. So I'll press G, Shift Z, move it out the way. I'll press Shift A, then go back in, then go to Bolt, and then I'll say, hey, make me a nut, and it will save the settings and try and make that there. Now, however, for 3D printing, we know that we have to have perfect mesh. So if I click this and I say check, Oh, we have some non-manifold edges. Now, I don't think that's gonna be too, too bad because in all honesty, they are all right up here. So if we sort of just select all of that, go merge by distance, set that to 0 0.1 or something like that. Oh, a little bit too much then. Let's go for 0 0.01 and here, and then we'll go and give this another check. There we go. That's now perfect. It's now gonna get along just fine for 3D printing and all that. But I wanna change that. I wanna do some other thing. I want to do a 3D printing offset to the thread. Well, go and make another bolt because that's the way you're going to have to do it. So precision bolts, this is where it all comes in. To install it, just head over onto Gumroad. Then here you can get it for eight bucks or 15. If you put it to 15, I can do further development of the future or feel free to get it for eight. And then once you're there, just go to edit, preferences, add on, install, put that entire file for the install and then just enable it and turn it on. And then to use it, all you've got to do is press shift A, go to mesh, you'll find fasteners, click bolt. Once you're in there, head on over to your object properties and you'll see that there's this one called fastener. Now the first time running this, there's this nice little generate thumbnails. Click this, it will take about five minutes or so and that's basically just creating a whole bunch of thumbnails of all the presets that come with this. I already have all the prefet presets done. So just click on the presets here and you'll see standard full. These are some presets that I've already created before. So I want to go and go for my 3D printing one. So I'll click in here and right here, these are all my 3D printing ones that I personally use all the time. I'm going to go for the quite coarse thick thread here. So I'm going to click on this one. I'll hit apply and that applies that there. But you know what? I want to change the head. So I'm going to go to the standardized heads that I have here, decide that I'm going to go for, let's go for a carriage bolt head. I'll click apply and now we have a carriage bolt head sorted out there. Change my mind. I'm going to turn this into a strange screw. So I'll go like this. I'll then head on over to the standard drivers and I'll say that I want this to be a full slot head screw like this for 3D printing. Now, how is this for 3D printing? What about the nut and all the rest? Well, down here, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see there's a whole bunch of settings to change this. You'll have this tolerance. This tolerance will literally just change the parameters by millimeter for 3D printing offset. So for instance, me, if I have this set at a default of one, I just wanna go in. Sorry, if I have this set at a default of zero, my 3D printing tolerance is about 0.3, I would say around about there. So I'm gonna put in 0.3 and now I know that that has my 3D printing tolerance offset. So I'm gonna click on here. I've decided that I want to go for a nut with here. I'll create a counterpart. There we go, there's the nut. I can click on that nut as I already am selected with it. And I can now change all the things that I want of this one. So over here, maybe I want to remove the chamfer that's on the top, maybe make it a little bit smaller, let's say seven millimeters. And there is a tolerance here that is set to zero right this minute. Maybe I wanna add an, another tolerance to the nut. Maybe I wanna make the nut be minus 0.4 on my 3D printing, yet I want this one to be back to being just zero. So no offset at all. All of my offset is just in my nuts. So from there, that is the bolt aspect of things. But what about all the rest? What about other settings? What about making your own presets and all the rest? Well, to create your own presets, let's say that I really like this exact bolt as it is. So I'm just gonna go here, make sure that I have the full selected. You can create different presets for all of these individually yourself. I'm gonna click save preset. I'm gonna call this 
cool new preset. I will click OK, and then that is that preset saved. You'll see that it's generating currently that thumbnail. So we just give it a little short moment, and then if I go over to the full here, I can click here, and you'll see that I now have that new full preset. And this works for everything. This is for bolts, nuts, screws, and threads. And what do I mean by all of those? Well, let's delete those, press Shift A. We'll go over to the mesh, we'll find fasteners here, bolts, nuts, the screw is quite alpha, I'm trying to find a standardized way of doing that, but threaded rod is right there. So we've got the threaded rod, let's go and change this in some way. Again, I'm probably gonna go with a standardized full, let's go for my 3D printing one, I'll apply it there. Let's make this nice and longer. You know what, I want the resolution to be upwards as well, let's turn this to 64 so it's not quite as jagged. And maybe I have this for 3D printing in some way. Actually, you know what? I want this thread to be a flat thread. So flat, flat, flat threads are when they're bisected so you can print them flat and it uses less material and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm just gonna trim this by 0.6. And now this has been trimmed up like this. I can just hit R, X or Y, rotate it by 90. That's pretty much ready to go. But you know what? I've decided that I wanna change the thread on this in some way. So I'm gonna go here. Let's change the major diameter to be something crazy like this and the pitch maybe. Let's go a little bit tighter. Uh, somewhere like that. I want a nut to go with that now, so I'm just going to go over here, create a counterpart, and there's the nut for that thread that I've just created, and then I can go and change the length of this to be a little bit more representational, maybe seven like this, and I'm sure you can already see the power behind precision bolts. So that is the reason why I personally use precision bolts. You can give these a check. They should all be manifold by all means. That's the number one thing. See, this one's come out to be perfectly zero all around. How about this one? How is things going? And things are coming out just absolutely perfect as well. Yeah, so just there you have it. Precision bolts in a nutshell. and. Truly and honestly, I have found this the most useful thing that I have ever created for 3D printing with these offsets and be able to make my own nuts, screws, and threads for all of the different projects that I have going on in Blender. It's been an absolute game changer. A massive thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome. And without you, Precision Bolts would not have come to life. Truly, it means the world. And if you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there too. I have a whole bunch of other projects coming up in the future. If you have any ideas that you'd like to see me create, let me know down in the comments or head on over to our Discord where I'd love to hear from you there as well. Thank you for watching. Keep making and let the quest continue.